In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to animate this fun loop. Hi, my name is Manuel. We're gonna use a basic animate along path method and add some flavor to it, so stick around. To follow along, you might wanna download the project file. Let's start with the basics. Press Command R to activate rulers, and we need the action and title save. Then we drag a guide from the left ruler to the center, and two guides from the top, one to the lower half of the screen and one above the center. Maybe here. In the top view menu, we activate snap to guides and lock guides. Now we grab the pen tool and draw a line, starting where the left corner and the upper guide meet, going down to this lower cross here, then back up to the right guide here at the right corner. Make sure all points snap to the guides. Then we grab the Convert Vertex tool and drag the handles along the guides to create some nice and soft curves. No fill. Stroke Radial Gradient. From blue to a light pink. Width, let's say 6 pixels. We go back to the Selection tool and increase the radius of the gradient by moving this right blue handle. With no layer selected, we double click on the ellipse tool and name it Ball1. Actually, let's be good and quickly name the line as well. We go into the Ball1 ellipse property, hide this constraint proportions icon and set the size to 200 pixels each. Fill, linear gradient, no stroke. Color-wise, choose whatever you like. I feel like a bright yellow and some kind of magenta would look good. By moving the two blue handles, you adjust the gradient. All right, let's move it along our line. We select the path of line one, then go to window and open the create nulls from path script. Then click trace path which creates a new null object. Now we need to link the ball to the null object. And we need to set the position back to zero. And adjust the anchor point of the ball. We set it to 100, like the radius. There we go. So good, so boring, right? Let's make it awesome. We duplicate line one, open the position property and move it plus 90, 20 pixels to the right. Duplicate line 1 again and move it minus 1920 pixels to the left. We've basically extended the line. We link line 2 and 3 to line 1, which we're gonna animate. We move the position of line 1 to 1920 pixels. Set a keyframe at 24 frames. Then go to 72 frames and set it to 0. Let's get rid of the guides and stuff. And if you've been precise, <laughs> jumping between those two keyframes, the line should look exactly the same. We open the graph editor, make sure the snap icon is activated and edit speed graph is selected. And smooth the beginning and end of the animation. We set the beginning of the work area to 24 frames, the end to 72 frames. B and N are the two shortcuts. Then we select the null object, press U to see the keyframes, which have automatically been created by tracing the path, and move keyframe 1 to 24 frames, keyframe 2 to 72 frames. Open the graph editor again, grab the right point, move it down and drag the handle to the left at the same time. We drag the left point down and create this sharp curve here at the beginning. So the ball starts really fast, then slows down. Let's have a look. To change the timing, we adjust the speed curve of the line. We want the ball to be completely in the screen all the time. That's nice. We'll now add a second ball, which kicks that big guy. We duplicate the ball, change the size to 100 pixels each, and change the gradient fill colors, from white to a dark purple. Move the start and end point a little. Let me quickly close all these properties. Then open the path property of line 1. Next, we again trace the path of line 1 to create another null object. 
we move it below ball 2. We link ball 2 to the new null object. Then we need to set the position back to 0 and adjust the anchor point to the new radius, which is 50. Whoops, it disappeared, no problem. We select the null and press U to see the keyframes. Then move the start point to 24 frames, the end point to 72 frames. Open the graph editor and this time we start slow and end really fast. So the opposite behavior. Adjusting the speed curve a little bit. Obviously there's still a timing issue, let's fix that. With no layer selected, we press U to see all keyframes. Then move the, then move the keyframes linked to ball 1, one frame to the left. The small ball ones, one frame to the right. Then we need to open the two progress properties and add loop out at the end of the expression to make them loop. Loop out loops beyond the last keyframe. Depending on where you move your keyframes, you might also try loop in. Alright, let's move the balls behind the line. To fill the space below, we go to 24 frames, add a new solid, name it fill, move it below the lines and mask out the area we want to keep. Then we add a gradient ramp. Let's go for a fresh blue and some dark purple here. Important is to keep the start and end of the ramp in the middle, along this vertical line because you want to have the exact same color on the left and right corner. We duplicate the solid, move it plus 9020 pixels to the right, duplicate it again and move it 9020 pixels to the left. Select them and link them all to line 1. Alright, seems pretty good for me. One last thing, a <laughs> small thing. <laughs> we basically start all over again. Create a new line with a slightly different shape. Move it into position. And name it of course. Trace the path of the line. Add a new ball, change the colors. Link it to the new null object. Name it as well. Set the position back to zero. Adjust the anchor point. Extend the line to the right and left. Link these guys together. And adjust the movement of the ball smooth start and end. Then animate the line. Move it 1920 pixels to the left. And smooth the beginning and end as well. Okay, that was successful. We select both position keyframes and move the line further to the right. And if the stop is too abrupt at the end of the loop, simply move those points in the speed curve up a little bit. I ended up with this animation. What are you gonna come up with? On the left side, I've added some videos you might like, so see you there in a second. Subscribe to my channel on the right side, I'd really appreciate it. And hit the bell to get notified when my next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!